anchoring over the prime piece of structure is key to, to tog fishing. It's actually kind of the hardest part. To help you do this, however, make up a marker buoy system. This one actually happens to be a store-bought model by from American Bandit, and it's really great because, first of all, it's fluorescent, so you can see it easily. Second of all, it's got a really this neat feature. It's got a fin on the bottom, so it actually faces into the current. This black line will show you the direction of the current. Very handy when it comes to uh, dropping anchor and getting back on the spot. The other really neat thing about this American Bandit marker buoy is that it has it the line is spooled in the center and it's got an adjustable drag system so that you can use different weights to send it down so when you drop this weight this is the old sash weight and very hard to find these nowadays but if you have an old house like me uh, you, you can get these things for free so you drop this down and the line will actually play out on its own and stop when it gets to the bottom and when you're ready to leave at the end of the day all you do is wind it back up so here's how it works. While your buddy is circling the structure and watching the depth sounder, he's gonna shout out when you get to the highest part of the wreck or reef. Highest part. Simply drop it over and the bandit marker buoy goes right to the bottom. And now you know where the high point of the wreck or reef is located. Sometimes you can move around the structure to find the location of the fish simply by letting out more anchor line or bringing in anchor line, thereby moving the, letting the boat drift over different parts of the reef or over the wreck. Another way to reposition the boat is by tying off the anchor line to a midships cleat or one that's slightly forward. This will actually cause the wind or current to swing the boat off to one side or another, allowing you to fish to the right or to the left of your chosen spot. Uh, you don't get many flat calm days like this in October, November. So when you, if you can pick your days, definitely, uh, definitely call in sick when you get a forecast like today because it's a gem and it certainly makes it a lot easier to find your, find your tog spot on the bottom and anchor up over it. Once you've found a good to tog spot, mark it on your depth sounder or record the uh, coordinates because usually. That spot's gonna produce year after year. Now, that's an okay tog, it might be a keeper. We're gonna let it go just cause there's a lot, of, a lot of big fish down there right now, so. I like to carry a pair of pliers. You simply don't even have to touch, to, uh, grab the fish at all. They're really slippery, they're hard to hold. So this makes it easy. Just take the grasp, the uh, bend of the hook. Easier said than done. Grasp the bend of the hook and just kind of shake it off. Pop it off, you don't even have to handle the fish at all. So once you, once you get positioned on your, your spot and you're sure that you're on the high spot, the highest part of the wreck or the reef or wherever you're fishing, give the spot about 10 minutes to turn on. If, it, if you don't get a bite within 10 minutes, you're probably fishing in the wrong depth or the, or the spot has been fished out. So you're best off picking up, trying a new spot. This feels like a pretty decent fish right here. I knew there were some big ones down there. Yep, he's, he's definitely a keeper. So always make sure you have a, a good landing net. Ah, there we go. Decent, nice, nice, decent buzzards bait to tog right there. That's gonna be dinner.